Hey y'all, we got another package. Got another package in the mail from Vever. What's that look like it's for? <laughs> That's for a kegerator. Uh, I'm, que I'm quelling my comments for the review. <laughs> but uh, I already have one. Big Easy needs a new bit, new head for his uh, kegerator. So we got us one from Vever. He's going to take this home and uh, screw it onto his kegerator. It's real easy. It'll show you how it works. It's real simple. But man, that looks nice. See that tap? Put a tap on it. The hardware you need for it. Looks like it's got everything but the piece that you hook up to your cage. But already got one in. Look at that guy. That's shiny. Take it right out of the tap, son. That's exactly how I'm going to drink it. Like a gerbil. Ain't nothing like a good beer on tap. Right in your man cave. Well, we'll tell you, we'll get you in trouble if you let it. wonder if that comes off. It should come off. But Big Easy's going to take it home. It's insulated and everything. That's a nice tap, man. Oh, yeah. If you need a tap, man, go get one of these. We'll put a coupon code in the description. Uh, Phil Billy said earlier you could take this thing and hook it up to your yeah right, right through your bar. Yeah, you can mount this on your bar like so, right? Run you a fridge with a keg and a uh, gas gas tank down in it, and just pump beer right up through the top of your bar. I considered it, but I do too many videos here. I thought about putting one over here, but I already have this old kegerator, and I've had it for quite a while and uh, I hate to get rid of it it just it's a little sentimental I've had a lot of good drunks on it if it ain't broke don't fix it yeah you know? so but later you know in the future I might put a couple of those here put a couple mini fridges underneath here with kegs in them and boom bartending we'll show you the rest see y'all later it's shiny it's shiny Phil your tap on it's shiny got your kegerator i took the old column off of it you can see it's already got a hole and everything for it so i'm not going to drill any screws now this thing comes with long bolts in case you need them i don't need them i'm just going to reuse the old screws that i had and so the only thing that you need for this is one of these fittings you need to go to the brew store and get one of these and this is just to hook this up your tap and so that'll screw on there i'll show you how that works so you're going to need to buy one of these and that's all you need is just one of these with a hose clamp so first things first we'll get our column put on it's called a column because it might be a column we've got a rubber gasket line up with our holes Now you can use all four if you want. I'm just gonna use the two because that's plenty solid enough for me. It's tight enough. And I didn't use their hardware mainly because uh, this didn't fit my kegerator. So you know, sometimes you just have to make your own modifications so it works for you. All right, now we're gonna hook up our spout. Put our beauty ring on it, which is pretty. That's good and tight. Now it came with a handle. And you see, if you want to take your handle off, you can. If you got a different one to put on there, I don't have one that fits. 
handle, we'll put our handle on. Now we're all good up here. Now we got our line that's coming out of the end of it. Remember this piece earlier, I told you you had to go by to be able to hook up. So you just put your hose clamp on first. Take your piece, cram it inside there. Put your hose clamp on the end. Tighten her up. What do you upgrade? You got a brand new column on your kegerator? And this is the part of the alcohol comes through out of your spout, out of your tap. As you can see, you got your tap. And this just screws right on the top. All right, well, it's time to hook up the keg. Now she's all hooked up and ready to go. It's time for the best part. Got a fresh keg on here. This might be a little foamy. I'd say she works. You let the foam calm down in that new keg a little bit. But all in all, down the hatch. Time for another. Thanks, Vever. If you guys want one of these, check out the description in the link. Use the code, get you one real simple, real easy to install. Have a good night.